Hey everybody, it's Brian. Welcome to the 15th Python tutorial. Um, today we're going to be discussing reading text files. And this is actually a pretty common thing you're going to have to do throughout your career as a programmer is read a text file or specifically read it one line at a time. So we're going to show two techniques here. One, how to read the entire file. And help if I spelled import correctly. So to read the entire file, um, we should probably actually, you know, do a little bit of error checking here. And I'm not going to go through making a function with the try exempt finally because we've done that before. I just want to very quickly do this and show you how it works. So we're going to say um, if yes, we'll call it spath. Let's actually make my variable. get my file name here, the file we've been working with. And you can use just pretty much any file, but um, it should be a text file. Um, if you get a binary file, then we'll be covering that in future tutorials. But the difference between binary and text is a text has things that's human readable, where a binary just has a bunch of numbers in it. So like a program, well, like PyCharm that we're working with, would be a binary file, where an email would be an example of a text file. So if we're going to say if it exists, say with open uh, spath as f now what the with command does is it says take an object and with that object do something so we're saying with the open object or the uh, f variable more in this case because we're returning something from that Did, was that confusing let me explain that a little better with an object we're going to do something so with and then this function is returning an object we're going to call f so with f we're going to do something should be a little clearer when I do this when we read the entire file we're just calling read and it's going to read everything into memory now that can be good and that can be bad it can be good if it's just a small file and you want the entire contents to it see there's the entire contents of this file it can be bad if you have multiple lines and you want to do something for each individual line. And there's really, you know, with any language, multiple ways to do this. And we're going to just grab that, make sure it exists, otherwise if it doesn't it'll give you an error message. And what we're going to do here is we're going to get all of the lines. So what we're going to say is f dot read lines. Now when we run this, you'll see it returns this nice list. The problem with this list is it's got these slash ends in there. So it's got a, a new line in there and we'll have to actually strip those out. And you would do that by Let's actually call that line in lines. And let's back up here a little bit here. Lines equal f dot. You know what? Let's just do it the easy way. So for f in read line or for line in read lines, we're going to print. We're going to strip that line out, and we're going to strip out the escaped character there. And let's actually put something in here so we can see that we're doing something different. There we go. So we're going to read the lines, and you can see how we're stripping them out. If we don't, if we just print the line itself, it's going to look a little weird. And let's let's demonstrate that. You can see how it's got these new lines in there because we didn't strip out that new line character. All right. So, and there's an even better way of doing this. Reading the actual lines one line at a time. 
So what we're going to do here is we're going to say, do this, and we'll say line equal f dot read line, and this is just going to read one line out of there, and we'll say while line, meaning while we have a line object. Remember, everything in Python is an object. So if it's nothing, it's just not going to execute this code. Remember, we've discussed the while loop in previous tutorials. We're going to print this out. We're going to say line equals, and then whatever processing we were going to do to this. And let's actually throw that here. We'll say line and we want to strip out any white space. If there's, you know, like extra spaces before or after, we want to strip those out. Just because. And then of course we want to say line equal f read line. And what this will do is it'll advance to the next line. So let's discuss this a little bit here. Um, actually first let's run it, make sure it actually works. Yep, there's a problem. Okay. indentation. Gotta love it. Alright, there we go. So we're reading the lines one line at a time and you can see how it says line equal and then it's got our line and we've stripped out any white space. I know it doesn't look like it. You see that little blank space that's actually added by PyCharm. So what we're doing is we're saying if it exists with open as f, meaning we're going to call the open function and return an object called f we're going to read a line. If that line object exists, because read line will return none if it's just nothing, it will, you know, if we get that object, then we're going to go to this while loop while line is true, basically. We're going to print it out, and then we're going to get the next line. That's a mouthful. So those are three handy ways to read a text file. Um, I typically get inundated with, hey, how do I read a file one line at a time? Well, that's probably the best way to do it. Um, as with any programming languages, there's multiple ways to do it, but I think that's one of the more efficient ways. Um, you should note there's really no error handling in here, so you'd have to encapsulate this within the try block. That's all for this tutorial. Hope you found this educational and entertaining, and feel free to visit my website, voidrealms.com. Uh, let me bring that up here, voidrealms.com. For the source code for this and other tutorials, just go to Tutorials and then Python. And join the Facebook Void Realms group. There's over 200 of us in there that are willing to help.